Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is one or more of my little thin client videos. And this time around, I'm gonna be doing things a little bit differently. Um, I have a thin client here that I bought as part of a big lot of random computers. And I have no idea what the specs or anything is for this particular unit. So I'm gonna uh, basically go through the process of you know, learning about it uh, with you on here. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so like I said, I know nothing about this one. So um, the first thing I notice is that it's it's kind of small, smaller than the other ones that I'm that I'm normally working with, and by that I mean it's kind of thin. I do like that it has a little copper heat sink inside there, so I'm curious to see what that what that looks like inside. But in the outside here, um, on the in the front, I see that we have the power button, uh, two USB ports, the uh, headphone uh, jack and the microphone jack here. And in the back, we have two more USB ports over here, an ethernet port, a DVI uh, port for video. It also has, uh, it's DVI-I, so it's, it'll support VGA with an adapter. It's got a PS2 mouse and keyboard, which is nice, because uh, that means that I can probably even run Windows 98 on this one, and maybe that's what I'll do. Uh, this this might make a nice Windows 98 machine, assuming that I can get the sound to work. If the sound works in Windows 98, um, then I might make this into a little Windows 98 machine, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what the chip is inside. And we got a 12-volt um, uh, jack right there. When I look here at the model information... I see that this is a uh, C90LE, sorry, it's a CX0, and it looks like it's got like XP embedded with a 4 gigabyte flash disk and a 2 gigabyte, 2 gigabytes of RAM. That will be kind of cool if this actually has a 4 gig flash and 2 gigs of RAM, so that means this might make a nice Windows XP mod. Uh, um, machine as well so yeah let me let me try to open this up so we can take a look inside it looks like I, I only see one screw which is right there so uh, yeah let me let me try to open it and uh, and then we'll start with the with the internal overview actually you know what before we open it up let's power it up and see what this is all about so I went ahead and and hooked it up I have I'm using this this USB keyboard here with a built-in trackball. Um, I have a DVI to VGA adapter and a 12 volt power adapter plugged in there. So let me power it up and, uh, okay, that's a good sign. Let's see if something comes up here. All right, wise. Ooh, it's got Windows XP already on it. It's like a. Oh, that's nice. It already has Windows XP preloaded on it. it looks like it's trying to load some wise thing. Let's wait for my keyboard and mouse to be detected. Maybe I'll plug in my this USB mouse that I have here. Oh no, it's doing this thing. Oh, there you go. Let me see. Go to the control panel and uh, I can't see the system but I can go to display and settings so I can at least see the video card uh, it's got the via chrome 9 all right so this is a via Eden probably 
and I can't. Uh... All right, so this is probably running a via Eden um, CPU, and I'm gonna have to go into the BIOS or open it up to see what's going on inside. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and tear it apart. That way we can see the specs directly, and then I'll uh, probably save this image that it has right now because it is fully set up to a certain extent. At least the drivers are for the video card are there. And I know that sometimes getting those drivers can be a little bit of a pain. So let's do that. Let me let me open it up so I can show you inside and then uh, maybe we'll see some more information in there. All right, let me turn this off. All right, here we are. So I went ahead and took the screws off uh, just to take the cover off. It's just one screw, that one over there. And then this cover comes off. And notice here how they have this heat sink attached to the top. And it's a nice little copper uh, heat sink with some, some thermal pads. And those are to cool down the RAM. So if you look at here, this is a really nice, simple motherboard. It's got the SSD drive right here, which is a, um, I believe it's a four gig. This, the 4G right there is the, the, the size FM004G. Four, so this is a four gig flash, uh, solid state drive. This um, is the RAM and it, uh, I just, I opened it up before shooting this and it was a two, it's a two gigabyte DDR2. Okay, let me uh, come on out. All right, here we go. And as you can see there, it's a two gigabyte SODIM PC2 6400. So that's kind of cool. And on the bottom, so it's a, the 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 there's a two sided heatsink for just the RAM. So that one was attached right here. And the way this works is it goes like this. It'll it sandwiches the the RAM uh, so that it remains nice and cool within these with these two copper heat sinks. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, the CPU heat sink is that copper piece right there. Another cool little thing. And it's got a full size CR2032 uh, CMOS battery, which is nice. This must be the BIOS. And for the sound, I don't see anything down here. Let me see. Looks like most of the supporting chips are on the other side. So I'm gonna, I went ahead and took off the three screws, these three screws right here, that hold the motherboard in. One right there, one right there, one over there. And you can go ahead and lift it up. And then you can see, this is basically the entire computer, which is <laughs> such a cute little motherboard. And on the other side, you can see some of the supporting chips. So um, you can see here, this is probably the sound chip right there is a VT1702 for the sound. This is a 1632A. I believe that's a DVI uh, uh, driver of some sort. What is over here? Where's the the Ethernet? I think the Ethernet on this one might be on the on the chip itself. Or maybe that one right there. Via networking, yep. VT sixteen two two sorry. Sorry, VT sixty one twenty two. So that's the Ethernet chip that is underneath the uh the um the flash drive and this guy is the 1632 I like I said that was that uh, I think this is a clock chip and uh, what else there's nothing else there's not much else going on here this drives the DVI that is the sound that is Ethernet and the video and RAM and everything is underneath here so let me see let me let me try to unclip these um, these white um, tabs 
so that I can lift off the, the heatsink there and show you the CPU and we can find out what speed this is. All right, give me a second. All right, I went ahead and uh, removed the, um, well, pushed in the tabs from the bottom and now I can lift off this heatsink. It's got a couple of thermal pads right there. And uh, here we go. So this is the chipset. It's a VX855 chipset. And I'll put um, the block diagram here on the display so you can take a look uh, what's inside of this unit. And over here, we have a Via Eden 1 gigahertz CPU with a 400 megahertz front side bus. This has a 5 watt TDP. And, um, and uh, you know, it's a, it's, it's a pretty good CPU for this form factor. You know, it's 1 gigahertz, can run Windows XP. And this CPU right here, uh, sorry, this chipset has the VIA Chrome 9 video card in it, um, which paired with this DVI uh, driver here uh, allows us to send out the, uh, the video signal through the DVI port. So yeah, um, that's the entire computer. Um, it's kind of cool. I think, I think what I'm going to do with this one is I am going to check if this 17, um, this, the sound chip, where's the sound chip again? This one, if the 1705, uh, chip has, sorry, 1702 chip has a DOS sound support, then I might make this into a, a Windows 98, um, and DOS gaming PC. Otherwise, um, I think it's going to remain Windows XP. And actually, now that I think about it a little bit more, it, I, I might only be able to do Windows XP on this one because Windows 98 drivers for this video adapter are really difficult to install. I've, I've managed to do it before, but it's really buggy. It's um, I've used a combination of Windows 98 driver and XP driver to get it working, but it, it really wasn't uh, uh, reliable. So I'm, I'm probably going to stick with Windows XP and... Uh, and call it a day so yeah i hope you like this video if you find this stuff interesting be sure to check out my other videos i have a lot of the little thing clients that i have gone through as well as some retro uh pcs like a 386 286 486 stuff like that um i'll be i'll be putting a lot more videos about those machines pretty soon i have an entire warehouse full of them uh so you know just let me know in the comments below what you think about this video uh, what you think I should do with these little thing clients. I normally, um, you know, um, put Windows XP on them and resell them. Uh, but if you have any cool thoughts on, you know, projects that I could do with these, let me know. All right. So make sure to hit that like button um, and subscribe. Uh, it really helps out. All right. Well, thank you. Bye-bye.